gives me great pleasure to next introduce this year's commencement speaker, Muhammad Ali Pateh. Muhammad is the Global Director of the Health, Nutrition, and Population World Bank Group and the Director of Global Financing Facility for Women, Children, and Adolescents based in Washington, D.C. He is also the Julio Frank Professor of the Practice of Public Health and Leadership in the Department of Global Health and Population here at the Harvard Chan School. A U.S. and Nigeria national, he was until recently the Chief Executive Officer of Big Win Philanthropy, based in the U.K., and formerly served as Minister of State for Health in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He has dedicated his career to strengthening public health systems and building innovative partnerships to combat preventable causes of mortality, and we are delighted that he has joined us here today to share his insights with our graduates and our larger school community. Please join me in welcoming Muhammad Ali Pateh. It is a great honor to join you on this day, which you have worked so long and so hard to reach. I imagine it looks a bit different than what you expected. Whatever you pictured, it surely didn't involve staring at me on a computer screen. These are unusual times to say the least, but part of being alive is about how you navigate twists and turns. And that means preparing yourself for the unexpected. Growing up in Nigeria, I suddenly never expected to be delivering commencement remarks at Harvard, via video conference or otherwise. I come from what might seem like an unusual background. Um, and from an extended family of herdsmen, not exactly a conventional path, but it turns out that those who tend to livestock have a lot to teach us about public health. Herdsmen and women do more than look after the basic physical needs of their flock. They must understand the broader terrain within which they walk, our relative place in the food chain, the effects of the sun and the water and the land, and how the health of each individual animal depends on an ecosystem. Even during the best of times, they are forced to do a lot with very few resources to make sacrifices for the greater good, and every day make what could amount to life and death decisions. And they know that the choices they make will have consequences for their immediate survival and for generations to come. That's why one of the herdsman's most important tasks is to earn the trust of their flock and their community. With that trust, they must corral everyone in one direction and move them towards a shared goal. The herdsman is constantly moving around the herd, knowing when to be in front or when to stay behind, knowing the importance of including everyone, boys, girls, women, men, cattle, sheep, dogs, and their community in order to survive the oftentimes harsh realities of nature. The herdsman is also forced to learn what is dangerous and what may be safe by looking both behind and ahead and even sideways, left and right. Is any of this starting to sound familiar to you? These are some of the fundamentals of public health leadership. And that leadership, your exercise in that leadership has never been more critical. To be sure, these are difficult times to do the work that you have trained for. The COVID-19 pandemic is exacting enormous tolls on the health of populations on economies and on society all over the world. Perhaps more than any event in recent memory, it has the potential to shift our thinking, not just in one country, but in how all of us see and experience the world. The magnitude of this pandemic speaks to something that Hertzman have understood for millennia. That simple but powerful notion that we are all interconnected, humans, animals, pathogens, and our global environment. That is as true today as it is ever. This interdependence means that what happens in your country very much affects what happens in mine. That reality comes amid the background of many other challenges in our world, from widening inequality, both within and across countries, to an unfolding climate crisis, 
and the rise of nationalism at a time that desperately calls for unity of nations in the world. So the world that you are graduating into is more complex and in many ways more daunting than the one I graduated into years ago. But you also have some advantages on your side. The unprecedented development in biotechnology, amazing leaps in digital technology, an extraordinary Harvard education, a fresh and global perspective, great classmates who will now become your colleagues, and yes, you will one day meet in person again. Yet, there is a lot of uncertainty as you prepare to embark or continue your careers. There is fear of the unknown that lies ahead. But one thing is clear, as the prospective leaders of this field, you have the potential to help the world find a way out of this pandemic. You will help us chart a path towards a healthier, more prosperous and equitable world. Throughout history, in the face of crisis, it has been great leaders who paved the path for humanity to triumph. Leaders who acted within, and yes, outside their purview to do what is right, often at great risk to themselves. They are the ones who helped humanity find its way forward. That's what we need more of today. We need leaders who are true to themselves, leaders of integrity, who have the courage of their convictions and who can earn the trust of others. Leaders with courage to confront fears and uncertainties, not to deny their existence. Leaders who will act selflessly in the interest of society and who can empathize with everybody, no matter their creed, culture, race, or circumstances. Leaders who can be relied upon to do the right thing by virtue of their commitment to the science of public health and strength of their character. Leaders who will inspire and empower others while building consensus and multi-stakeholder coalitions such as is required to solve the top challenges ahead. But above all, what we need from our leaders is accountability, a willingness to put themselves on the line to get things done and to demand that of each other. The work of public health leader is in many ways the work of the herdsman at scale. With keen observation, using scientific tools, galvanizing people from a range of backgrounds and perspectives towards a common goal. To not just overcome a crisis, but to make progress towards preventing the next one. That is exactly what the Harvard Chan School has prepared you to do. And that is how you will shepherd us towards a safer, healthier world. Because now, more than ever, the world is counting on scientists. It's looking up to public health practitioners to lead the charge towards a safe power for mankind. I'm confident that with leaders like you at the helm, the world will emerge from this crisis stronger and more resilient. By learning from our past, by seeking new answers with humility, by listening with empathy and grace, and by working together on behalf of our common humanity. Now is the time for hope. And the reason for our hope is not wishful optimism, but rather because you are better prepared for this than any other cohort of future public health leaders. And that makes your graduation even more worthy of celebration as the world battles the current pandemic. So congratulations and Godspeed to the class of 2020. Thank you. Thank you, Mohammed. We now invite